Since its official launch in October 2015, Interpol's EU ASEAN Migration and Border Management Program is being successfully implemented across all 10 ASEAN member states. The three-year program, funded by the European Union, is designed to support ASEAN with its Master Plan on ASEAN Connectivity by providing police and immigration officials with tangible policing capabilities to better manage the movement of people throughout the region. It's about making sure that the um, border security capabilities in the region are as robust and strong as they can be. It's not a detector against organised crime, but as well as we're seeing a growing um, threat in the region from the, the foreign terrorist fighter and their ability to travel through that region or if not travel further, further afield. In addition to capacity building and training, the programme also involves the expansion of Interpol's I-24-7 secure communications network and the completion of a research study on easing visa requirements in the ASEAN region. In November, an Interpol major event sports team was deployed to assist the Philippines law enforcement agencies in their security preparations for the 2015 APEC summit in Manila. Coordinated by the program team and with technical support provided through Interpol's Command and Coordination Center in Singapore, the operation proved to be a major success. The main technology provided was for the Philippine government through the Bureau of Immigration to interconnect with the Interpol database. That was a huge task. The, the team had to go through millions of documents, data that, that was gathered by Interpol, previously not accessible by the Philippine government. And due to the program given by EU ASEAN, we were able to gather enough information so that the, the security of the entire conference will be, will be assured. I can't thank Interpol enough for, for the ex help extended for the assistance given to the Philippine government. We went through the entire exercise without any problem at all. Shortly after, the program team was deployed to Vietnam, where at the People's Police Academy, 22 participants from nine ASEAN member states participated in a training workshop on Interpol's policing capabilities, counterfeit document examination, and the difference between migrant smuggling and human trafficking. This is a program that the EU supports because it increases security in the region and therefore also has a security uh, impact on Europe. As we all know, we face the same security threats throughout, and we've seen this uh, happening in Europe but also in Southeast Asia. And therefore, to have a program, support a program that helps security and border management in ASEAN is also one way of having this region-to-region uh, -region cooperation on a very important point that is uh, key for the security of all of our people. And therefore, I, um, I'm pleased to be here at Interpol and witness uh, myself the progress that has been made and the results and the achievements that you had during the implementation phase. And uh, I wish uh, Interpol um, every success in the further management and implementation of this important program.